the great Spartan. Hey everybody, Cray Spartan here again, and today, gameplay here for you from Halo Reach. I don't know if you remember this game, but uh, it's, it's a thing, kind of, you know, it was a thing back in the day. Um, I had an awesome time playing this game. Um, I don't care what anybody says, uh, this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, it, yes, yes, it did have issues. Don't don't freak out, don't say crazy hat, crazy has lost his crazed mind. But, uh, yeah, it had its issues. Jetpack and armor lock and camo and armor abilities and bloom and armor lock. And, yeah, it had issues. But overall, though, man, I had fun. Halo Reach was just an absolute blast. So many game types, so many uh, different things we could do. Uh, invasion, firefight, uh, just outright fun. I, I can't, and, oh, there it is. The lovely revenge medal, like one of my favorite medals of like all time, and unfortunately, it never went on past Halo Reach, which is a shame. I don't understand. It's just awesome. And Killjoy, where the hell is Killjoy? Man, I loved Killjoy. Like you get that, you know, you get that guy with the killing spree, and you end him, and it's like, yeah, I got a Killjoy. There you go. Heh. <laughs> you know that type of thing. But no, no, no Killjoys in Halo 5. Not even a revenge. You know, yeah, we just don't don't feel it's necessary. Sorry, sorry. On to the subject at hand, guys. That is E3. What are we going to see at E3 for Halo? Now, there has been quite a few theories being thrown around. Um... So I'm just going to throw my opinion out there. We're going to see who's white and who's not. And hey, we all might be surprised with something later on. Who knows? But what I'm thinking here is E3. Some people have the theory of Halo 3 anniversary. Is that going to be a thing? Is it not? I'm going to put it out there and say maybe. Maybe. It's probably not probably not going to be a thing um phil spencer and of course frank o'connor and everybody else has says halo 3 anniversary is not a thing it is not going to happen at any point in time but i think they said that in the past too i think they said that about halo 2 anniversary and there it was halo 2 anniversary yay just I kind of wish it was standalone and not attached to the Master Chief collection, which was broke beyond broke. But it is functional now, but it's kind of beyond beyond its life cycle anymore. So, Halo 3. Is it a possibility? Yes, I believe it is a possibility. However, is it likely? Not very. Um, not since Halo 3 Anniversary is in the Master Chief collection, or Halo 3 is in the Master Chief collection, fully functional with all the maps, all the uh, downloadable content, everything is there. So I don't think it's going to be a thing. Um, what are we definitely going to see, at least I believe is going to be a very high possibility, is a trailer of some kind for Halo 6. Um, it's probably going to be pretty pretty vague and of course it's going to be dissected six ways from Sunday and they're going to say oh it's this that and the other and and it ends up being completely nothing related uh, just like a trailer back in the day we got from Halo 5 where Master Chief was looking for Cortana and yeah we saw the Guardian thing and that's about as close oh, there it is again revenge love that metal <laughs> But anyways, that's about all that was there. I mean, uh, relatable to the actual game. But um, I believe we are going to see something for Halo 6. Um, that's almost a guarantee we're going to see something. Because the three-year cycle is coming up next year. It's hard to believe, but yes, 2018 is the three-year cycle for the Halo games. Yes, that, that was not pretty. Sorry. Sorry you had to watch that. Anyways... On to, on to what I actually think is a better possibility. It's still, um, I don't think it's 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 
100% guaranteed, but I think it's a very possibility that we are going to see an FPS title this year that they've been keeping under wraps. But, you know, I could be completely wrong. Um, the FPS title I'm thinking is actually what you're watching right here, right now. And that would be Halo Reach. I honestly think this has the most potential to be included in the next lineup. Now, people might be freaking out and going, Oh, man, not Reach. But think about it. Think about this, man. Halo Reach in itself, in its core, was an incredibly fun game. At least to me, I had a blast. However, it did have so many, uh, what I like to call BS factors. Um, things that happen to you in-game that just make you scream BS. Uh, of course, that would be like things like the jetpack, and of course, armor lock, and the jetpack. <laughs> you can tell I hate the jetpack. Um, but yeah, that was the thing. Halo Reach had its issues. Yes, uh, it had the DLC problem where like nobody had a DLC, and if you bought it, you just kind of never played it. And you just like gave a donation, pretty much to 343 or Bungie at the time, actually, and then it went over to 343. But if we did receive a Halo Reach anniversary or remastered, uh, it would be a remaster. Um, uh, the campaign was excellent. I love the campaign. One of the best. Um, at least I believe. We would have Firefight back, hopefully. I mean, a real Firefight. I liked Firefight uh, in Halo Reach. I did. I thought it was actually pretty good. If it was done correctly with the right settings, more to the lines of Halo uh, ODST, I would really have loved it. Uh, Reach is Firefight. Really would have thought that would have been something special. Um, but a firefight, uh, a real kind of firefight, in my opinion. Halo 5's firefight is definitely uh, not what I would call the best thing, but it is something. I mean, it's something I would play uh, over Warzone regular any day of the week. But, um, but then, you think about this, man. Think about this. Uh, is oh, there it is again? I love that revenge. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, I'm so sad. And then, and then you just sit there. And you got all these game types. Halo Reach had so many game types and brand new ones. Um, like Headhunter, Stockpile, and of course, One Flag, Assault. You had the uh, what's the what's the vehicle? The Falcon, which I love. The Falcon. Uh, I thought that was like the best UNSC uh, vehicle, even to date over the wasp any day of the week um absolutely absolutely just had a blast uh playing halo reach even on uh big team uh other than the the bs factors which like i've talked about earlier it was just incredibly fun and then it forge was just amazing in all the mini games and everything everybody created all the race game types because that was actually in the game race um from the day one uh, a king of the hill. I mean, everything was there, I think, and, and it just to me it boiled down to a lot of the BS factors. Got, and if they implement Halo Reach without the uh, BS factors in the main gameplay or in the main multiplayer, uh, go to the V7 settings and stuff like that uh, from the original Halo Reach. Man, it is really fun to play. Really competitive. Uh, and you have so many options. So, my opinion, we're going to see Halo Reach. Um, that's what I think we're going to see. But uh, I guess we'll find out for sure in a couple days. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Crazed. I'm out of here.